June, do you see how happy she is? Yeah, she doesn't have floor heating outside. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. She was doing it with Pookie together earlier. Even just a couple months ago, during the day, she wouldn't come out and explore or she didn't want to like lay down in the middle of the room. But now she comes out all times of the day and she's doing less of her exploring at night and more of spending the night sleeping with Pokey. Hey, Pizzi. You're just chilling from the window. You're so getting better with us. Oh, your fur looks so much better too. Looks comfy and soft. Since our last PTE update, she's started jumping up onto the couch while I was there at night. At first she'd see me and then she'd jump off again, but eventually she started settling down for a little bit as long as I didn't move and I was all the way over on the other side of the couch. As she became more comfortable, she started ignoring me a little bit more and she'd sleep on the couch with Pokey for a lot longer regardless of where I was and sometimes I could even get up and leave and come back and she'd still stay there. Since she's so fond of Pokey, I've been trying to pet him in front of her a lot so she'd understand that petting is friendly and enjoyable and it's not gonna hurt her at all. During that, I would try to let my hand graze her just a little bit so she'd get used to me touching her. And as she got closer and closer to me at night on the couch, I started moving my hand closer and closer to her until... She has to be really sleepy though to let me pet her or she'll run away and I have to read her body language to make sure I'm not pushing her beyond her limits. She got close with Pokey pretty quickly, but it took her longer to become friendly with our other cats. Haku can be a bit of a bully sometimes. He's so much bigger than our other cats that if he wants to interact with them, they don't really have a choice. And no one's ever really stood up to him until Peachy, so he's kind of intimidated by her. Haku? Peachy? Peachy, you're scaring Haku. He can't come in the room. Is he scared? <laughs> okay. Can I let the door go? <laughs> Just go. Haku has this dichotomy where he can be a bit of a bully, but he's also the biggest scaredy cat of all of our cats. <laughs> Poor Haku. <laughs> Although they do sleep together sometimes. Prince Nagi, on the other hand. Is still a bit of a butt. He doesn't stalk her anymore, but sometimes he's a little mean. PG, you stole Nagi's spot. <laughs> oh, oh, Nagi's back. He seemed upset. Favorite spot. What are you doing? What are you doing? His tail. Whoa. Oh no! Whoa. Aww. Whoa. <laughs> Nagi's upset. I've never seen Nagi this Aww. upset. Okay, here, I'm gonna put another bed up here. Four cats united. And PG is the only one like, why is the human staring at me? I don't like it. Make him stop. He's <laughs> too close. Oh, good job. Pookie decided to join her. Aww. Aww. All in all, she's slowly becoming a confident, really comfortable cat around us, and I'm so happy and proud of her. Also, sometimes Peachy does this derpy backwards stretch where she almost loses balance, and it's amazing and adorable.
Thank you to today's sponsor, Blinkist, for helping us build our cat house. You've probably heard of or been recommended nonfiction books before that would probably make your life better, but you're too busy dancing with your cat to read them. Blinkist is a subscription service that summarizes the main points of top nonfiction books so you can read or listen to them in 15 minutes. There are so many genres of books from self-help to science to history to business. Thanks to Blinkist, I was finally able to get around to a book a lot of you guys recommended to me, The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. I feel like I understand where some of my behaviors come from now. Not this dancing though. If you're interested in trying Blinkist, the first 100 people who click on the link in our description box will get unlimited access for one week and 25% off full membership. Thanks for watching. Is this supposed to be dancing? <laughs> I think my wife broke. I was really worried about you, honey.